Hello, my angels. So there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> I definitely want to talk about the package that just came in today. It's from The Real Real. I opened it. I don't love it. This is the only one I don't love. And you know what it is? It's the Mark Mayer collection. I found out that they all have inside the zip pocket, there's a little tiny tag. Where is it? Is it the zip pocket? I think it is. Yeah. The tiniest little tag that says Bottega Veneta and then a number. And that's how all of the Mark Mayer bags were done. Like no logos, no branding. Um, but the interesting thing is they said this was Daniel Lee. And then on the real reel. I showed you guys. I had the video, right? But then they said it was... Oh, I don't know if I published the video. I gotta go see. I don't think I published that one. I think I was just like, screw it, I'll just show you the bags. Why am I gonna show you twice? No, I think I did. I did. I showed you that I bought these four bags. Yeah. This feels like pleather. It doesn't feel like leather. You know that I've been in love with all the Bottega leather. This feels like crap. This can't be real. The other one felt like Hermes leather. So it was nice. This just feels like crap. It feels like pleather. I'm really questioning the authenticity of this bag. So this is the bag. It's a dumpling bag, right? Or rather they call it the fortune cookie bag. It doesn't feel like real leather. I've touched all types of leather. This doesn't feel like, it feels like genuine leather, like crappy leather, but they weren't even making bags with genuine leather back in the day. Look at that. It just feels, it feels like a Temu bag. So I'm trying to get in contact with the real real, right? I don't even like it. I don't even like it in person. It just doesn't feel right. It feels like pleather. It does not feel like leather. The interior is very simple. This can't be Mark Mayer. He wouldn't make a product like this. It feels plasticky. Not pl like, I don't know. Waxy. It feels waxy. So I gotta say, for the first time, I, out of five bags that I ordered on the Real Real, I'm very disappointed in this one. And I don't know if they thought they could throw me in for a loop and be like, oh, well, whatever, she's, you know. This is horrible quality. This is not Bottega Veneta leather. This is not Bottega Veneta standards. This is not Bottega Veneta hardware. And neither was, I think, the other bag either. So I'm very question I'm questioning the authenticity of that one. But at least that one had it felt like better leather and it had suede in the interior. You know what I mean? And it felt like a luxurious experience and I like the shape. This just feels like straight up pleather, genuine leather. This does not feel like leather. And I don't know, they say they don't do refunds, but I'm going to have to contact them and be like, look, I bought five bags from you. It's not like I'm not coming back. I want to buy four more bags, but if this is what I'm expecting, I'm not going to buy them. Do you know what I mean? Like, and hopefully they'll give me a, a, you know, a courtesy refund because this bag is crap. So I'm being honest with you. If you guys see this bag on the real real, don't buy it because either their authenticity department sucks or this was just a faux pas when they made this particular bag and it's not Bottega quality or Bottega standards. It feels so bad, you guys, like straight up pleather. It's so sad. Unless they were just stingy that year and they use low quality products, but I can't believe they would do that. So let's look at this bag a little bit closer. It's got watermarks on it. Well, I don't care because you can take that out. That's really worn. None of this stuff was disclosed in the pictures, which I, that's the only thing I don't like about the real real is they don't show you everything and they just should just show us everything and let us decide if we want to buy the bag or not. You know, the other ones I was okay with because I knew what I was going to do with them. But this feels, look, it just, I don't know. It just feels wrong. The hardware looks off. The other one looked off too, but I like that bag. I just do like that bag. This feels straight. Look at it. It doesn't even look like leather. It looks like pleather, right? And usually their, their leather is fully saturated. This looks like, I don't know. I'm very disappointed I don't, I can't keep this bag. I, I'm, I'm trying to get in touch with them and be like, look, regardless of whether your policy is non-refundable or not, this is not an authentic bag. Like this straight up feels like pleather. It does not feel like leather. It doesn't look good. You know, I, I'm, 
It's just horrible. Straight up leather, you guys. Straight up leather. At least the other Bottega bag felt like leather. Remember I touched it and I was like, this feels like what I think Hermes leather would feel like. And then I found out that Mark Mayer was with Hermes. And there's no way that I can think that Daniel Lee brought in less quality. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't think Daniel Lee made, I mean, it made sense. Like if you think about like what he's come out with, but I don't know who made this bag because on the real real, they have no idea what they're talking about. Cause one on mine, they say it's Daniel Lee on another one. They say it's 2008 collection, Mark Meyer. But when I was looking at that 2008 collection, I didn't find this. And I was trying to see when the, when the bag launched, that's my mom. I'll call you right back. And um, she just keeps sending me pictures of like my niece. Oh, pause. I was watching Netflix on my phone. Like, yeah. Anyway. And um, yeah, this is a this is a dud. This is a fake. I think this is a fake on the real real. One hundred percent, guys. I'm telling you right now. Leather does not move like this. It does not feel like this. It feels like plastic. From the moment I saw it, I was like, this is not okay. This is a fail. Do not buy this bag on the real real. Don't buy any of the bags that say like Mark Mayer or Daniel Lee, like, you know, um, that are non-branded. Make sure that it has the Bottega brand in it because this, this is a horrible bag. I'm sorry. This is a horrible experience right now. So like I said, they're not always good. Um, let me put the bag, the box over there. I'm going to return it. I don't know if I should just return it to sender. They say that like you have to pay for the returns um, and then you have to, I, I think they probably deduct the cost of shipping and the cost of return. I don't care. I'm not going to spend 350 something dollars on a bag that's not even real leather. Not today. Not with me. So that's what I have for you guys. Like that was horrible. I bought five amazing bags. Well, I wouldn't say they were amazing. They were nice. Um, the, the peekaboo was my favorite and I'm actually going to bring that in to have the guy just wash it and condition it and color it. Cause it's just better to make it look all cohesive and, and good instead of having these patches. Yes, it looks worn and yes, it gives you that, like I've had this bag forever look, but the truth is I would rather it all just be nice and pretty. So, um, let me actually grab that bag and show you guys. No, I'm going to make another video right now. I'm going to make another video right now of all the flaws. And then I'm going to bring it to my guy. And then when he gives it back, I'm going to show you how different it looks. That makes more sense. Okay, bye.